west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. One west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. They ain't scaring me. Rip the soul out of Pharisee. Speaking heresy, it get you fucked up apparently. It's like they daring me. I said, chill, they ain't hearing me. They ain't listening. Every bar nitroglycerin. Hit your heart, bring it back to start, make you live again. Get them dividends, or we start getting ignorant. I be on that soldier shit. I told you shit phenomenal. Now but your domino. So what you suck is trying to do? Rhyming comical, guess it's funny until I'm bombing you. Bring apocalypse to them pussy niggas that's popping shit. Team all stars, I coach them up like I'm Popovich. Fuck the politics and the lobbyists and the apologists. They vagina, so we gon' check them like gynecologists. It's kinda obvious how the situation is ominous. The way I vomit this and regurgitate for the audience. They start applauding this cause the competition is fraudulent. From the era where niggas smoke you up like a parliament. The flow been stupid, shit has gotten retarded since. All the dominance of one west rising to prominence. Cause I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I'm one west till they bury me. They want a nigga quiet, mute my maneuvers. But I ride like I got group pines for Uber. Rhymes hard like they've been viewed by Medusa. Nine milli Luger, 17 in the Ruger. Only need a few to sit up in your medulla. Obligata for the regatta niggas while they win every dollar. They riding by them black Apollos, let the semi holler. The showstopper been the proper since the teeny bopper. But now I'm growing them off Patron, a premium of vodka. I put his tensions on the Glock, modify the chopper. The swore heavy war ready and that's worth the mama. No marijuana, say I got the loudest silence on it. When I'm a born, it ain't no rapper, do it like I do it. A lot of spitties and writers, but when they eat so, none of them can get through the fire. Went around with me, and I had them niggas spin like a tire. But down the D, and I'm still dope as a piper. Every bar burn hard like a spoon with a lighter. Started out of One West, 125th Street, on the commanding journal, Johanna. Now we're gonna go into the Bible like we often do, man. We're in a place which is called what? Great Britain, man. They say that this is one of the greatest places on the face of the earth. Well, guess what? Great Britain is great, but not for black people, though. Right. This is half for black people, man. Right. Listen, the circus is great, but not for the clown, though. God. The zoo is great, but not for the animals, though. God. And guess what? Great Britain is great, but not for black people, though. Right. You know why? Because this is hell Britain for black people, man. Right. Now, one thing about Britain is there's two sides to it, man. There's two sides to it. When people say Great Britain, they're not talking about the life the uh, black men live uh, out here. Now you got one side of Great Britain where you got what? Buckingham Palace, royal weddings, uh, beautiful scenery, and it's nice and crumpets and tea. That's all good. That's one side. But on the black man side, what you got is death, man. Everybody. Right. Black men uh, being murdered by the police. Uh, one side you got uh, all peace and safety. On the other side you got police kicking our doors and murdering us, man. Right. Give me uh, Leviticus chapter. Give me Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 17. Right. Great Britain ain't great for black people, man. Right. And this is hell for us. And we built this place. Did you know? Did you know that uh, they took us from the west coast of Africa and took us to the uh, Caribbean? Made us pick cotton. They made us pick cotton, man. Made us uh, cut sugar cane. And guess what they did? They transported all that money into Great Britain, man. Right. And that's what makes Great Britain so great. Is the slavery of black people, man. Right. That's what makes this place so great. In order for them to be happy, we have to cry, man. Right. In order for them to have joy, we have to mourn, man. In order for them to stand up, we have to lie down, man. And black man, we've been lying down for far too long, man. Right. Read right. the scripture for me. Leviticus 26 and verse 17. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. And ye shall be what? Slain before your enemies. And our enemies, they're enjoying Great Britain, right. and we die before them, man.
they murder us, man, while they're enjoying Great Britain, right. while they got these nice bridges full of water. Uh, what's that bridge called? The London Bridge. They have that nice, beautiful London Bridge, man. They have the nice big towers. And guess what we have? We have jail, man. Right. There's two sides to Great Britain. One that you see, and ours which is ignored. Cut. Ours which is ignored, man. Cut. They that hate you. Shall Hold on, they that what? They that hate you. They that what? They that hate you. Hey, Great Britain, man. They that hate you, black man. They hate you. When they talk about uh, the United Kingdom, they're, they're not including you. Right. You ain't included in uh, the United Kingdom. You ain't included in this Great Britain. Your oppression makes this place great, man. Right. Shall reign over you. Shall what? Shall reign over you. And he says, they that hate you shall reign over you, man. They rule over us, man. And they rule over us horribly. Right. This is why black men is murdered, man. Right. This is why we're number one in jail. We do the same crime as anybody else on the face of the earth. Who gets the most years? Because uh, it's not equal. So this so-called United Kingdom thing, it's a damn lie, man. Right. Ain't no unity in this kingdom. And black men, we don't want no unity with them, man. We need to be separate like the Bible says. And ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And what? And ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And listen, man, something which else is great, listen. Having sugar in your tea, that's great. But the man who had to pick that sugar, that, that wasn't great. Him working 12 hour shifts, uh, sun up to sun down, just for you to enjoy your coffee. Do you know how, how, how hard it was uh, for black men to have to pick those coffee beans in order for you to wear that nice cotton t-shirt? You see that nice cotton t-shirt that you've got on? You don't know that black men had to uh, pick cotton for that. Black men had to work sun up and sun down for that. Just to you to uh, prance around in a nice cotton t-shirt, man. For you to stir your coffee, black men had to uh, work sun up to sun down for that, man. Read it. And, and I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. And ye shall be what? Slain before your enemies. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. And be slain before our enemies, man. Listen, black men, in order for them to have joy, we need to shed tears, man. In order for them to uh, live through the sunshine, we have to go through the rain, man. Right. Which lets you know there's a great divide between black and white people, man. Right. There's no such thing as Britain being great for black men. What's great about your life here, man? What's great about being in jail? Give me a Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Give me Zechariah 11 and verse 5. Listen, man, like I said, the circus is great, but not for the clown, man. Listen, black man, what, what side are you on? You're on the losing side of every situation, man. The zoo is great. Because what? The animals they have in there and they treat us like we the animals and this is the zoo, man. Right. Just look at the uh, animals inside the enclosure. Do you think that they're happy? No, man. Listen, a black man ain't happy in here. A black man ain't feeling great in Britain, man. Right. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Whose possessors slay them. Who's what? Whose possessors slay them. Who's what? Whose possessors slay them. Whose possessors slay them, man. What's a possessor? Someone that owns you, man. Black man, they, they own you. And they murder you, man. Do you know how much uh, of us got murdered uh, on, on the way on them slave ships? Listen, there's a book called, um, what, what was it, the Zong? There's a book called the Zong, man. They killed over 200 black people, man, because they wanted to do an insurance scam. They threw them off the ship to cover up something, and it was their fault, man. They murdered them. Whose possessors slay them, man? Listen, you can look it up. The book's called the Zong. But... Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And what? and hold themselves not guilty. Black man, your life means nothing, man. They don't even feel guilty when they kill a black man. Right. Same like uh, when they kill an animal, they don't feel guilty because to them it's just an animal. Yeah. That's how they see you, man. So you thinking you've got part in this uh, Great Britain, you're completely mistaken. I don't see your Buckingham Palace. Right. I don't see your West End. I don't see your West Minister. Right. I don't see your 10 Downing Street. But guess what I see? I see your prison cell, though. That's uh, all I see is your prison cell. That's all I see. Right. I don't see you turn down the street though. And they that sell the same, they, they say, blessed be the Lord. They say what? Blessed be the Lord. And they thank God that they've got you enslaved, man. And is there any more that? For I am rich. And they, hold on, for I am what? I am rich. And guess how they got rich? Off the slavery of you, of you, man. Right. 
You see all these nice buildings that you see out here? Right. It was brought up after slavery of you. Right. You see all these banks which is open where they can give you a loan. They set up these banks off the wealth of your slavery, man. Right. They set up all these businesses off the wealth of your slavery, man. They say blessed be the Lord because they got rich off of whipping your back, off of enslaving you. That's how they got rich, man. And their own shepherds pity them not. And let's guess what? These pastors don't care, man. These right. pastors don't care. Your, our, our own leaders pity us not, man. From there, give me uh, Exodus chapter 5 and verse 9. Oh, okay. One sec, let me just find out. Let's give me Exodus 5 and 9. You got, you got it, yeah. Okay. Exodus chapter 5 and verse 9. Let them more, let them more work. Oh no, let what? Let them more work. And listen, man. During our captivity, uh, during uh, when we was in the Caribbean picking cotton, they put work on us, man. They made sure we worked. Right. Uh, right. We laid upon the men that they... And, and in Egypt, they did the same thing. They laid work upon black people. And now they're still laying work upon black people. And this is why they have their great kingdom today, man, built off the back of you. That they may labor. That, that what? That they may labor therein. And let them not regard vain words. And let what? And let them not regard vain words. And listen, man, they don't even want you to take a break, man. They want to work you sun up to sundown. They don't want you to have no free time. No nothing, man. Right. They just want you to be a good slave. And guess what, black man? You should be tired of being a slave, man. You should be tired of being a slave, man. Right. Look at all this wealth, man, built up off the back of you. All these nations come to London to sightsee. They all walk around with their uh, cameras on their neck. All walk around with their Canon cameras on their neck, taking pictures of the pretty buildings. Right. Not knowing in order for them to get their tall buildings, your people have to be under the ground, man, dead. Because they've been worked sun up to sun down, man. And the taskmasters of the people went, went out. And, they, and that's it, jump to, give me, jump to verse 14. Okay. Verse 14. And the officers of the children of Israel, which, which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten. And oh, uh, hold on, they were what? Were beaten. Oh, that sounds familiar, man. What was going on in Egypt? Sounds like it's, uh, it's been going on the whole time. They were what? Were beaten. And black man, man, during slavery, we was beaten, man. Right. They treated us like we weren't even a human, man. How can you love these people that show you how much they hate you, man? We need to get a backbone, man, and uh, gather together like the Bible states. Go ahead. And demanded wherefore, have ye not fulfilled your task? Hold on, and what? And demanded wherefore. Have Listen, also another thing in the uh, Caribbean, when we was picking cotton, it grows in a ball. And when it's ripe, the ball opens up. Right. And then you have to put your hands in and twist the cotton out. Um, the ends of it sharp. And they want a black man to pick a bale of cotton a day, man. A bale of cotton a day can make what? I think it was about a thousand t-shirts. Right. We made a... Israel came and crowned to Pharaoh. Say, and, and listen, back, back, back then, this is the time when we was uh, under the Egyptians. Obviously now we're under uh, the white men. Back then, they went crying to Pharaoh, man. Same like our people go crying to their oppressors today. Not us though. Go ahead. Wherefore, saying, dealest thou thus with, with any thy servants? Sorry, it's not okay. Uh, wherefore dealest thou dust with, with thy servants? And listen, man, they weren't crying, man. Because they was getting beaten. They was getting worked sun up to sundown. It, sound, it sounds familiar. It sounds like what's going on today to me. There is no straw given unto thy servants. And listen, man, they gave them no straw to make their work harder. Same like they do to you out here. They make our life harder, man. Give me that Revelation chapter 21 and verse 1. Give me Revelation 21 and verse 1. Listen, they make our life hard, man. And I'm going to show you something in the Bible. Times is going to change soon, man. You see how we're at the bottom right now? Soon we're going to be at the top. You see how um, this is hell for us? Soon it's going to be heaven and hell for them, man. Times need to change. Revelation 21 and verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And I saw a what? A new heaven and a new earth. So here it says I saw a new heaven and a new earth, which means what? Uh, the role switched. The people that was in a low state, they became... To rule and the people that is in a high state they became low so that's what's going to happen you see all these europeans that are ruling over you now and they're rich and got the good jobs and the businesses listen soon they're going to be working in mcdonald's man good. and you're going to be the new heaven right and you deserve to be the new heaven man because right. you built up this place you deserve some rest right. you deserve to have some slaves man same like you've been everybody else's slaves right. you deserve to have some slaves man freedom 
For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And those positions is going to change, man. But uh, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Right. Listen, black man, you don't know how great you are, man. I'm going to show you that God made you the best at everything according to the Bible, man. When God made you, he made you with skill, man. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people. A holy people, man. The Lord made you to be a separate people. He made you different to everybody else. Diverse, man. He made you different. Go ahead. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord have... The Lord that God have chosen thee. The Lord chose you, man. The Lord chose you, man, to be his. And what do you do with something he chose? You love it and cherish it. The Lord didn't choose every nation. The Lord couldn't care less, man. He only chose you. Go ahead. To be a special people. To be a what? To be a special people. To be what? To be a special people. The Lord made the black man to be a special people, man. Listen, black man, you know, you see when you got a video game, when you create a player and you choose his attributes. Right. When the Lord created this player, he gave him 99 strength, man. God. He gave him 99 swag and style, man. Word. So lucky these brothers looking fly. I mean, he gave him 100 swag and style, man. That's right. When the Lord created everybody else, he gave the Chinese man, what, zero eyesight, man. <laughs> he gave uh, the Indian man, Z zero style, man. He gave uh, the Europeans, what, zero style, man. Word. Zero skill. Zero hygiene. He gave them nothing, man. He gave them nothing at all. When the Lord created the black man, he gave him uh, all the ability, man, everything. He sees the attributes, he gave him 100 for everything, man. Everybody else probably got about 20 and whatnot. Right. And it shows, man, and this is why when you see Usain Bolt running, it shows the Lord gave him maximum ability. Right. Because who can catch him? Uh, if you watch the, um, the um, Crawford and uh, Amir Khan fight the other day, the Lord gave Crawford 100 speed, 100 power, right. man. Right. He gave, right. He gave uh, Amir Khan zero for everything, man. Right. That's why he got his ass whooped in that fight, man. <laughs> also, um, he gave Mayweather with 100 for everything as well, man. Uh, he gave us 100 for ability, 100 for everything. This is why we have the best musicians, the best artists, the best everything, man. We have the best rappers that ever lived, man. Biggie Smalls, Tupac, who did they have? Uh, Eminem and Plan B. <laughs> Eminem and Plan B. We have the best singers on the face of the earth. We have Beyonce, man. We have uh, Alicia Keys. Who did they have? They have a. Uh, give, give me one of their singers. They, they have a. Uh, who's that one that sings Wrecking Ball? What's their name? Taylor Swift. Uh, they have Taylor Swift, man. Listen, uh, I, I ain't lying. The Lord gave us the best singers ever, man. The Lord gave us Michael Jackson and so forth, man. Who do they have? They have uh, that drug addict that uh, overdosed over there. I can't remember what his name is. What's his name? And he sings Fire What's his name? That guy with the silly hair. What's his name? Prodigy. The Prodigy. We have Michael Jackson and they have the Prodigy, man. Listen, the Lord gave us uh, the best of everything, man. And it shows. Everyday life, it shows. You show me someone who can box better than Mike Tyson and Mayweather. You're not going to find one. Show me someone who can run faster than Usain Bolt. You're not going to find one. Show me someone who can sing better than Beyonce. You're not going to find one. And this is why, even in our slavery, everybody still tries to be like us, man. Even in our low state, everybody still tries to be like us. Listen, and you know I ain't lying. And this is why, they, uh, this is why these brand designers get black men to model their clothes because they know everybody wants to be black men, man. Right. The way we dress, they know once once a black man throws in a Gucci outfit, guess what happens? An Asian man sees it and says he wants to buy it. Look, man, he don't look good in it, man. Right. The Lord only made the black man to look good and the black woman to look good, man. You know I ain't lying, ain't no one got swag like us. Ain't no one got star like us. Right. Can't no one cook like us, man. Nobody can't cook like us, man. That's Listen, right. all the chicken is, is, is what a piece of meat, but the way black people season it, you'd think it came down from heaven, man. Right. The way black people make chicken. Right. The way every other nation makes chicken, I'll, I'll be a vegan. <laughs> the way they make chicken, I'd rather be a vegan, man. Right. Because black people is the best at everything on the face of the earth, man. I'm one west till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. I be one west to the death till they bury me. They ain't scaring me. Rip the soul out of Pharisee. Speaking heresy, it get you fucked up apparently. It's like they daring me. I said, chill, they ain't hearing me. They ain't listening. Every bar nitroglycerin. Hit your heart, bring it back to start, make you live again. Get them dividends or we start getting ignorant. I be on that soldier shit. I told you shit phenomenal. Nah, but a domino. So what you suck you trying to do? Rhyming comical. Guess it's funny until I'm bombing you. Bring apocalypse to them pussy niggas that's popping shit. Team up. 
the all stars I coach him up like I'm Popovich Fuck the politics and the lobbyists and apologists They vagina so we gon' check them like gynecologists It's kinda obvious how the situation is ominous The way I vomit this and regurgitate for the audience They start applauding this cause the competition is fraudulent From the era where niggas smoke you up like a parliament The flow been stupid, shit has gotten retarded since All the dominance of one west rising to prominence Cause I be one west to the death till they bury me I'm one west till they bury me